welcome back to D Diets. How are you? If you are new to my channel, give me a thumbs up. Consider subscribing to the channel. Ring the notification bell so you know when I'm putting up another video. I've been challenged. Yes, I've been challenged from Jill's Comfort Zone to do Sit and Moe's Lipstick Challenge. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Most women, you know, we go out, we put our lipstick on. This is L.A. color. Let me just put a little extra on here just so you see me putting it on. Typically, I do not wear this color, my friends. My uh, friend, Tammy Sue, she would wear this color. But I was challenged from Jill's Comfort Zone to do Sit and More's Challenge, Lipstick Challenge, which is over, I think she said, on the 13th. But it's basically eat your meal. Uh, no matter what it is that you want to eat, and in eight minutes, see if your lipstick wears off. Well, sit and mow. I'm going to try my very, very best not to wear this stuff off. I will also link her in my description box so that you can go over to Sit and Mo's channel. Check them out. There is a little bit of a contest with this. If you get it in before the 13th, and they're going to do a drawing, and whoever they pick will do or get... Uh, a shot glass. They do custom shot glasses. And I have to be honest with you, I've just met her and I was looking and she's got beautiful, beautiful shot glasses. So I think that was really, really nice too. So thank you, Jill from Jill's Comfort Zone for tagging me in this. And your link will also be in the description below. So what do I have? I have my rice, Jasmine rice with some stir-fry broccoli and veg. Um, no oil, guys. No oil. And I am going to start my timer. Eight minutes. There we go. And I'm going to eat and I'm going to chit-chat with you guys while I'm eating. This is going to be so delicious. Oh, oh my goodness. Mm -hmm. You can't wipe your mouth. Otherwise, the lipstick could come off. Anyway, how was my weekend? Let me tell you, all you hear is the noise with the trucks and everything out there. My weekend was a disaster, I want you to know. I have an old retro bathroom. I do. And it's the old pink and aqua green tiles. Do you remember those? <laughs> well, mm. this is so good, my friends. It really is. The soap dish that was connected to the tile mm. oh my god what a decided to fall off the wall my husband said i think the soap dish is a little loose now he is not a tile man he is not a tile man doug can do a lot of things but he's not a tile guy so I come home and after I'm out shopping, uh, he ripped off the, the soap dish from the tile. The soap dish is also ceramic. It went with the bathroom. Well, try to find someone. I called and called and called all over the place to get somebody to come here and fix this. Nope, I guess it's too small of a job. Mm-hmm. So my husband decides to take out tape and tape the wall because now I have a hole in my wall. I can't find anybody. I'm so aggravated because he took that off the wall and he didn't know how to replace it. But he put some stuff in it. And he put the soap dish back in. He propped it up with wood. He said, by tomorrow, it's going to be great. Okay. Now, by then, the next day has come. And he's mowing the grass in the backyard. And I'm sitting down watching my YouTube videos in the living room. And I hear, crash. Well, the soap dish that was made in the 1960s or probably 50s crashed into the bathtub, but it didn't crash in one piece. It crashed in a big chunk all over the place. So he's out there mowing the grass. 
Jordan. He's mowing the grass. And I go to the back door and I do this. And he's looking at me like, what, mommy? What did I do wrong? I go, uh, the soap dish that you apparently tried to glue back in just fell and smashed into a million pieces into the to under the tub. Not only did I have to try to find a soap dish, now I got bigger problems. Well, finally, my neighbor, my neighbor, I went to him. Nobody else was calling back. Nobody. And I thought to myself, how am I going to get somebody to fix this gosh darn tub? I was so busy over this weekend. So my neighbor came. He said, go get the child. Now, you know, you cannot find this child anymore. This child does not exist anymore unless I had to order it online. And there's no way I'm leaving a hole with tape all over it in my bathroom. So I went to four different places to see if I can find, in the rain, mind you, in the rain. My husband, the boob that did all this, uh, wasn't running anywhere to go get stuff. I was running like a moron, like a moron. Mm. I have to tell you, this is delicious. Um, I'm running in and out of the rain. Finally, I get to the fourth store, the fourth store. Oh my God, I'm splitting. It. And I said to the guy, you got to do me a favor. I got this old bathroom. It's aqua. This guy couldn't have been any nicer. He said to me, come on, come with me into the warehouse. <laughs> All right, let me go. He didn't have my exact tile, but he did have an aquamarine tile. So if you think, even though the bathroom is pink, the wall, <laughs> they are. Um, I, would, I cared less because I couldn't find pink. They didn't have the pink color. Everything was like really dark, so I couldn't use that. So he shows me this aquamarine tile, really nice tile. And he says to me, here, take some home and see what you, what you could do with them. They were $18 a piece. He gave me five of them. And he says, oh no, you don't have to pay me anything. I was like, really? It was the only good thing in all the rain that happened on that day. Mm. Mm. I have two minutes and 18 seconds. So, I said to myself, I brought it home. I literally hid the tile like a baby. I hid it. Because I know my husband, he would have said, what did you buy that collar for? That's ridiculous. Oh, first of all, I didn't buy it. I, it was given to me by a very nice gentleman. And my neighbor, you know, I didn't want to take up his time. But he came over and he put the tile in and I love it because honestly, where the soap dish was, I got to keep eating, where the soap dish was, it looks fine. It looks perfectly fine. You know, it just looks like a little Art Deco piece like thrown in. <laughs> I mean, he did a great job. My name, it did a great job. And he grouted too. He grouted my walls. He siliconed around my tub. I'm telling you, you know, it's so nice to have good neighbors. It's so nice to have good neighbors. Mm. One minute. My goodness, I'm shoving this stuff in. It looks like my lipstick is somewhat staying on. Well, it's all over the glass. The plastic here. Oh, my God. Oh, my goodness. 38 more seconds, guys. Um, it looks like it stayed on. So the moral of this story is I should have just asked my neighbor from the beginning instead of me running around all over the gosh darn creation looking for tile, looking for work. Oh, I kept calling everyone, you know, like uh, Angie's List and all these other places. Nobody calls you back. No one. No one called me back. And I called four different places and local places. And I think that, I think they thought that the job was too small. They didn't want to come out. You know, 
hey, it is what it is. And this is eight minutes is up, guys. It's over. It's over. But anyway, has these things ever happened to you when you're up with your husband? You know, I understand he tried to fix things. I really do. I, I And I love him for that, that he tried to fix something. But if you don't know how, do not be ripping things off a tile wall, for goodness sakes. He's, I could not believe it when I got home from shopping and I saw that he ripped that off the top, only because it was a little loose. My neighbor said he could have just remorted it around there and then grouted it. It was, honestly, the weekend from hell. It was the weekend from hell and I can't take no more. I don't want to know any more stuff. I really don't. But. Until I see his old again, my friends, I'll finish this. I think my lipstick stayed on pretty good. I really do. Thank you, Jill's Comfort Zone, for challenging me. And to my new friend now, Sit and Mo. I cannot wait to really come over and watch more of your videos, my friend. But I got challenged. So, until I see you the next time, have a wonderful day. Be kind to one another. The heart that is truly all that matters. And I know I will see you all soon. Take it easy, my friends. Bye-bye.